During those just in case moments when the crap hit the fans, uh, most preppers like to call it SHTFs, um, world without rule of law, the end of the world as we know it, martial law, zombie apocalypse, natural disasters or terrorist attacks, including but not limited to nuclear disasters and EMPs. But um, those are some of the things that could occur. And in the event that a just in case scenario happens, you need ways to power up uh, all of the things that require batteries. So if you have two way radios, if you have um, flashlights, uh, um, any type of stove or any type of heating device that requires batteries, um, heart monitors or anything, you would need to have extra batteries on hand and a way to to recharge those batteries. I mean, it's okay to have a, an abundance of the uh, regular energizers and Duracells, but the way to go is to have rechargeable batteries um, of all sizes. And I have here just a small limited supply of what I have on hand. And um, these are the D batteries, and then I have C batteries, um, A, AA, AAA, and a way to, to actually charge them up. Now also I have right here, this is something that I found for cheap. Um, I think I paid a dollar for this. It Actually, you put your battery head on this portion of it and you utilize this portion to touch the opposite end and you can test your batteries to see if they are um, full or if they're they need to be recharged or if you have regular batteries if they're good or if they're bad but if import and export is no longer available to us and we have no way of getting supplies into our country we definitely need to have a source of um, recharging batteries and keeping things that we need uh, for our health and for communications available to us so having rechargeable batteries is definitely a plus in any type of just in case or SHTF uh, scenario so uh, be mindful that it is okay to have an abundance of batteries on hand that are not rechargeable but at some point because I've used batteries before that I've had sitting up in a packet that I had not opened and it had been sitting there for about a year and a half those batteries only lasted me maybe three or four days um, with constant use with the remote control of a TV so it, you have to be mindful of that the batteries never last as long as they say they last uh, which is um, which sucks but it, it it's the world that we live in and having rechargeable batteries on hand and a way to charge those batteries up in case you need to uh, uh, have a communication or a health related anything that uses batteries definitely rechargeables are the way to go okay, so I have these two digital recorders that I am going to put in my caches cache is something that you bury um, and then you dig up later on if the crap does hit the fan these uh, will give anyone that's digging them up instructions of where we're going to meet next or what's going to transpire next it kind of is a guideline for them uh, and then also I have two mismatch two-way radios that uh, I just found somewhere so I decided to keep those and those will go with the other six or seven I have and the best part of this is I have um, not one but but two Radio Shack scanners and you can get anything from ha um, ham repeaters to weather radio no weather radio on these things and they are really good to have in your crap hit the fan preps now this is an analog phone that I've I had back in 1990 ish something and I can't remember what it was but these analog phones uh, they don't get as much interference you can use these pretty much to to do any type of communication when and if the crap does hit the fan and all you're running on is analog again most people don't have analog phones they've actually tossed them off to the side um, thrown them in the trash but they will and they may come back ha in handy one of these days but this is another portion of my uh, communication system and once I acquire more marine radios and 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 ham radio stuff I will let you guys know thanks for viewing a woman's world out